Good morning, this is Frank from Adventures of Frank and Tina, and I'm in the electrical van this morning. Um, I'm an electrician, so this is going to be a little different video for all y'all. We do a lot of funny stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, we do a lot of funny stuff on our channel. We do a lot of shout outs, uh, do the Shed Wars thing. But this, we do a lot of how to's too. So this is one of our how to's or why does or whatever, because, you know, I am a state licensed electrician. I have been doing it for over 30 years. Um, we do a lot of swimming pools, and there's a lot of problems people are having right now out of your swimming pools. Not many people know the answer to this. Why is my pool pump tripping? The thing is brand new, and it's tripping. If you have a new pool pump and it's tripping, chances are the jurisdiction that's there has made you put it on a GFCI breaker. If it is on a GFCI breaker, this is what it'll kind of look like on these right here. This right here is an Eaton GFCI breaker. It's a 20 amp. This is what it'll look like inside your panel. If you have one of these in there and that thing's tripping and it keeps popping, um, the problem is you got the wrong brand one. You may have to change out your entire disconnect, in other words, the entire panel box, but it has to be on a Siemens. If you have a variable speed drive motor, pump they do not like GFI breakers and you have to put one on there so the only one that's got a high enough trip rating to be put on there is a Siemens you see that Siemens brand you get the same size now I put I, I change them over and put them on 110 a lot now you lose some of the power but this is $53 and that's the reason why uh, and the other reason why is you can't find the 20 amp two pole uh, Siemens a lot of times, but you can find these and they will work. Uh, but the 20 amp, if you want it 240 and you want to keep your pressure up, and I don't blame me if you do, that's probably what I would want to do. You're going to have to buy a Siemens. Siemens has a larger ground wire. This ground wire on the sides of this one is a number 12. See it? Okay, the ground wire on the sides of a Siemens is a number 8. It's a whole lot bigger. It's almost the size of a number two pencil. I think that may have something to do with it, besides the trip rating is a lot higher on a Siemens. Um, I do not particularly like Siemens. I'm a Square D guy myself. I like Square D. But this is a simple fact. If you've got that pull pump is tripping, change it to a Siemens breaker. 99% of the ones I change never trip again. So um, this is a how-to. Um, or a why to but it was an area that needed addressed and we do have a lot of electricians on here we have a lot of pool people on here uh, that watch us because we're an electrician that specializes in swimming pools so um, anyway if you will go ahead and give us a like a thumbs up and if you don't know us if you just discovered this video from searching for how to fix your pool pump subscribe to the channel man and hit us a thumbs up uh, You'll like the channel. We've got a good channel. We're not all about fixing and how to. We're all about a whole lot of different things. But anyway, y'all have a great day. For those of you who want to know, Tina is doing a lot better. She had neck surgery and she's doing a whole lot better. You can check her out on this one right here. I'm going to write it right there. Colette Fry. That's her channel. Um, Tina's on this channel too constantly. She's on this one all the time. But she's been sick and I've been working a lot. So, um, She's on her personal channel most of the time right now. So anyway, look look for the shout out video later on this evening. It's gonna drop late tonight, but and then the Shed Wars will drop probably late on Wednesday night. But we will have the Shed Wars video on Wednesday night, the uh, shout out video later on tonight. Um, Throwback Thursday will be on Thursday and probably late at night on Thursday. And um, then hopefully we'll have some people doing the um, roast the Ar woodchuck, Arkansas woodchuck, Arkansas woodcutter. Uh, anyway, y'all go to his channel and subscribe too. Uh, thank you so very much, and y'all have a great day. I hope this helped.